From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is co-creating healthy communities. Bon Secours Strategic Quality Plan has four goals. One of those goals is to co-create healthy communities. But how do we do that? Well, before we go there, let's take a look at how Bon Secours describes this goal. Our Strategic Quality Plan, or SQP, states, We recognize that the factors which drive health outcomes extend well beyond the scope of traditional health care services. Thus, we commit to improve the health of our communities through partnership and collaboration with a broad range of constituencies, including committed community residents. And this is not a new idea, but a continuation of previous SQP goals. It's that important for Bon Secours. So when we look at co-creating healthy communities, we think of community benefit. And when we think of community benefit, we think of community health benefits services, including improving access to health care services, enhancing the health of the community, advancing medical or health care knowledge, or maybe relieving a government burden. Listen to this. In 2015, fiscal year 2015, Bon Secours Health System provided over $260 million in community benefit services and community building activities. And here are just some of the examples. Bon Secours Baltimore Community Works Family Support Center, Community Works Family Support Center offers early Head Start services, support, and resources to pregnant mothers and families with children up to age three. Bon Secours Hampton Roads Caravan Mobile Clinic. The Caravan Mobile Clinic delivers free primary medical care. Bon Secours Kentucky's Bicycle Safety Camp. Bicycle Safety Camp teaches children ages five, to 12 balance skills, bicycle handling, safety prior to riding, and rules of the road. Bon Secours New York Healthy Communities. Bon Secours New York's Healthy Communities addresses issues of food justice, access and education through a network of community and advocacy partners. By the way, the Shavir Community Garden is celebrating 10 years of organic gardening in the Bronx this month. Bon Secours Richmond's Controlling Asthma in the Richmond Metropolitan Area, or CARMA. CARMA coordinates asthma care and provides asthma education for children ages 2 to 18 and their families. Bon Secours St. Francis Super Saints program. Super Saints encourages employees to share time compassion, and service with local underprivileged children. Bon Secours St. Petersburg's support group for caregivers of loved ones with dementia. Roper St. Francis Families for a Healthy Heart. Families for a Healthy Heart teaches easy and fun ways to be healthy and active. With fiscal year 2016 well underway, you can bet Bon Secours is continuing that tradition of building healthy communities and being good help to those in need. In other news, this May, Bon Secours Ministries celebrates 10 years of service as the sponsor of Bon Secours Health System. And we are celebrating all month long with stories about Bon Secours Ministries and the Bon Secours Ministries directional statement. Today, we thought we would ask the question, how does Bon Secours Directional Statement address and support healthy communities? Here are some of the responses we got from Bon Secours leaders, including Bon Secours Ministries. It's important that we be able to articulate what that means for us and how Bon Secours will do that, how Bon Secours will respond to the needs of people in the communities in which we're located. For that, I can would give you an example of what I think it would be. <clears throat> we need to do a community assessment in healthcare this year in 2016. In today's environment, we can't do it alone. 
Uh, we have to be in partners with the government, we have to be in partners with local government, we have to be in partners with the other health facilities. So we have got to collaborate if you're going to get anything done and especially if you're going to be innovative. Are we really able to put everything on the table and create a partnership that we're all in it together? And so how is it that we truly partner and we give not just what we have, but who we are, to creating partnerships in the communities um, that really respond to the needs of the community, not our priorities for what the community needs. For me, that means being creative in addressing needs in a community and doing that with others. If we did them together, we would identify what the needs are, and then together we could work on the needs rather than being in silos working on the needs. Bonsacor Ministries, celebrating 10 years of following our tradition of being good help to those in need. Finally, here's some good news. Tony Artebell has been named Chief Executive Officer of Bonsacor Virginia Health System. For those of you who don't know, Bon Secours Virginia Health System is a $2.1 billion health system with eight acute care hospitals in Richmond and Hampton Roads. Bon Secours Virginia Health System is the only Catholic health system in Virginia. Its eight acute care hospitals include St. Mary's Hospital, Memorial Regional Medical Center, Richmond Community Hospital, St. Francis Medical Center and Rappahannock General Hospital in Richmond, and DePaul Medical Center, Maryview Medical Center, and Mary Immaculate Hospital in Hampton Roads. Bon Secours Virginia employs more than 13,000 people across Central and Eastern Virginia. Tony joined Bon Secours in 2008, serving for six years as CEO of St. Mary's Hospital the flagship hospital of the Bon Secours Richmond Health System. Prior to joining Bon Secours, she served as Vice President for the Innova Health System. She is a native of Pennsylvania and earned her Bachelor of Science in Nursing from Pennsylvania State University, her Master of Science in Nursing from Catholic University of America, Washington, D.C., and her Master of Business Administration from Marymount University, Arlington, Virginia. Please join us in congratulating Tony Artebell on her most recent accomplishment of being named Chief Executive Officer of Bon Secours Virginia Health System. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up to the minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.